Hi friends, how are you doing today? I've got a great book I want to share with you. It's called The World is Awake, a celebration of everyday blessings, and it's by Lindsay Davis. Listen close and see if you hear the Z sounds and the Z words that are in this book. This is the day the Lord has made. A butterfly floats through the sun in the shade, while dragonflies flit past the flowers and trees, and grasshoppers hop in the soft morning breeze. And the bees, busy bees, are buzzing today as ladybugs call them to come out and play. Just look at the sunrise that's painted the sky and look at the songbirds all starting to fly. The world is awake. It's a wonderful place, alive with God's power and glad with his grace. Out in the yard, just waiting today, are all kinds of things that want us to play. The gifts of the Lord are found everywhere and all that I see is just like a prayer. So much of creation is happy and good. Even the rocks would sing if they could. It's in praise of the Lord that trees grow so tall, that grass grows so green and the flowers all call. Look at us, look at us, God's dressed us up too. Like great sweeping rainbows and skies wrapped in blue, like water and sunshine and summer days too. And you, beautiful, beautiful you. And later today, what shall we do? I know, I know, let's go to the zoo. We can buy a balloon and meet a baboon. We can look at the animals all afternoon. See that bear over there? He's just trying to snooze despite all the noise from the young kangaroos. The slippery otters are swimming along. The playful coyotes are howling a song. I love zebras and lions and elephants too. Pandas and penguins and owls that call hoot. Peacocks and panthers, a great mountain sheep and that grumpy old bear who's trying to sleep. Down at the zoo, they're all on parade, the wonderful creatures the good Lord has made. My belly sounds like that bear when it growls. It's time for supper, my tummy now howls. So let's stop at the market for something to eat. God always provides us with wonderful treats. At supper time, I take my chair, bow my head and say a prayer to thank the Lord for all this food, for carrots cooked and apples stewed, for milk and juice and bread and cheese, and even Brussels sprouts and peas. It tastes so good, I eat and then I thank the Lord for food again. With my belly full, I start to yawn. The light outside is almost gone. Up in the trees, high in the leaves, I hear God's love and the sound of the breeze. The wind is whispering stories tonight and far above the moon shines bright. So I say my prayers and climb into bed, then snuggle up close while my books are read. The comforting night feels calm and deep calling me down to a dreamy sleep, calling me down to a dreamy sleep, calling me down to dream and sleep. So my friends, did you hear the Z sounds in there? What did you hear? Did you hear the buzzing of the birds and the bees and where did the family go on their trip did they go to the zoo and did they see a zebra at the zoo all z sounds have you been looking for z sounds around your house they're always out there thanks for joining me for a book we'll see you next time